Hello students, welcome back to our class of Automata. Now on our last class we have already discussed about how computer grammar works and we have also discussed what are the different types of grammars available in theory of computer science. Now from the classification of Noam Chomsky we have learned that we have a special type of grammar that is called type 2 grammar or context free grammar. Now the production rules of any grammar differentiate different types of grammars. Now in our today's class we are going to discuss about context free grammar. Now in case of context free grammar as we have learned that any grammar is made of NTPS that means non-terminal, terminal, production rule and starting symbol. Here in context free grammar we also have these four things. So a CFG is also a four tuple thing. Now the production rule for a context free grammar is like that. V arrow N union T closer. So that means any combination of terminal and non-terminal will be at the right end and V belongs to N whereas in the left side we will have only non-terminals. Okay. So any production of type example is given here A arrow 0 A 1 <coughs> is a context free grammar production rule because here capital A and capital B is our non-terminal where 0 and 1 is our terminal character. Now for this given example we are going to produce a language of type 0 to the power i and 1 to the power i where i greater or equals to 0. That means if there are n number of 0 in this language then there will be n number of 1 in the language okay or maybe there are some null or uh, empty string can also be accepted now uh, we have also learned in our previous class that a context free grammar is accepted by some PDA or push down automata Okay, so for this example, if we are going to take one sample language like 0 to the power 2 and 1 to the power 2, then we can make the derivation in such a way that if we uh, here is uh, a is our starting symbol, so we are starting from this production rule a arrow 0 a 1. Okay. So after that we are replacing this a as 0 a1 again and now we are replacing this a by b capital B another non-terminal and then we are in the next step we are replacing this capital B by epsilon. So our production rule will become 0 to the power 2 and 1 to the power 2. This is a typical example of a context free grammar. Now, how we can make any CFG rules? There are basically three types of rules are available for any CFG. First is union rule where A S arrow A or B that means any terminal or non-terminal can be there. Production rule where A S arrow A B and closer rules that is A S arrow A S. Here again we are taking another example. This is a example of decimal multiplication and division rule. Now any decimal number uh, we can use in here. Uh, maybe we have a decimal number maybe 2 and we are doing multiplication with 3 uh, then we can use this rule 
uh, which rule should I use? Now we are going to use this rule e arrow e into e. So that means e arrow e into e then e arrow we are replacing this e by i and this e also by i now this first e will become sorry for this first i will become 2 because i has a rule 0 1 2 3 any thing sorry 2 into 3 okay clear in the same fashion we can generate any other languages like ex example given over here a to the power n whenever we are making anything like uh, a to the power n or b to the power n we are going to uh, make a production rule of closure rule okay so here we are using a s because if we define uh, a to the power 2 maybe uh, then we can define like this define it like this s arrow a s now s arrow we are replacing this s as a a s now we are keeping these two s intact and replacing this s by null now s arrow a a or a square okay so in the same fashion we can make languages like this a a b b a a a b b b so uh, we are using uh, combination of a and b but there will be only uh, one non-terminal at a time if there are a then there will be no b if there is b then there will be no a but any number of a can be generated a a a a a a b b b b b b any number of so a to the power n and b to the power n yeah, separate so whenever you are getting two symbols then try to use this property union rule so uh, here i am using s arrow a or b where a has the rule a a and or uh, empty string or b b small b that means uh, it's a non terminal and uh, the terminal so in a recursive manner you can generate by this rule in a recursive manner you can generate a to the power n and from the recursive manner uh, you can generate b to the power n from this rule in a same fashion if uh, we want to generate uh, a to the power n comma b to the power n comma c to the power n so then we will just add another c rule here and uh, this will become like this this will be same only we will add capital c where c will have same rules like c capital c or empty okay okay now now on this next example we are having this is a very common example you can see multiple of times in your textbook a b so here we are using both a and b uh, a to the power n and b to the power n this will work uh, in a way that if there are n number of a then there will be n number of b also so this is same as what we did in case of 0 and 1 so this will be our rule here we had a rule called a arrow 0 a 1 and uh, we also added b and b arrow epsilon now here i compact mode i used a arrow a s b or a arrow null okay and on our next example we are having like this uh, 
AB, 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 any number of AB. So, uh, this AB will uh, be treated just like A. If we can generate a language of A to the power N and our production rule will be, uh, sorry, uh, if we use uh, A to the power N as our same rule, then uh, our production rule is AS arrow AS. Then in case of AB, it will become AB S. So, we can generate in the same fashion. A, a B this S will be replaced by A B as many as time you want. Now here is another example where we are using uh, A to the power M and B to the power M. Now M and M are both different. So uh, you can have an uh, M number of N and uh, N number of B. So that's why uh, on our previous example when we had uh, a to the power n and b to the power n then n and n both are same. So if you have 2a then you will have 2b also but in, uh, but in this case you can have 3a where you can have 5b any, any number of b or any number of a can be there. So that's why uh, we are using this rule uh, s arrow ab but this a can be replaced by any number of a a. So, our new rule is A arrow, uh, non-terminal A and A and this B, capital B will be replaced by B arrow A. So, that means this particular example is generating nothing but A to the power M, right? Whereas, this particular example generating B to the power of N. Right now, we are just keeping them together using our production rule. Okay, so students, hopefully, I think the concept of context free grammar is very clear to you. And uh, for your homework, I am giving you some further examples also. The rules are given there. And you can try them in your home. Okay, so like some rules are the given there: uh, context-free grammar for odd palindrome, context-free grammar for event palindrome, some uh, language generation like a to the power m, b to the power n, and c to the power k, k, where we have three different rules. So we are just using it. It is just same as this uh, this rule: a to the power m and b to the power m, where uh, we need to generate. Uh, three symbols here. Yeah? We had uh, two symbols A and B there. So we had capital A and capital B. So here we have capital A, B, and C three symbols. Okay. So on our next class, we are going to discuss about uh, ambiguity and uh, some other aspect of any context free grammar. Okay. So you can try these rules in your home by your own. Okay. Thank you.